yes, honey. But of course, your party awaits if you beat. Look at that. Oh my, just they teased us at the beginning too with a look at it. That's why I was like, Please do me the honor. God damn it. Welcome back to another episode of Blurred Up Reacts, where we watch and react to the latest and greatest in movie, TV, and gaming. We are your hosts. I'm Killer Cam. And I'm Moni. And today we're picking up with the Black Lightning series. We got episode three now. <laughs> <laughs> First episode. Mm -mm. <laughs> Second episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> However, this next episode, I need what's been happening in episode one and episode two to stop. <laughs> yes. Yes, most definitely. I needed to get, I also needed to get a little bit better. Um, to be honest with you, we just did that Remember um, When episode on Black Lightning. Mm -hmm. And taking a back look at the fight sequences between that first season and this season, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, I feel like something fell off somewhere. Yeah. Um, so I just need this last season to, if y'all not going to do better with these fight scenes, <laughs> the story needs to be better. So that's yeah. what, that's what I'm hoping for at this point. There has to be something. And guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, we did launch a new reaction series this week called Remember That Time Where Me and Mo Point Out Moments in TV and Film History That Just Tickle Us on the Inside. <laughs> That are just so awesome, um, and we are planning to upload two to three of those episodes per week. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do so, because I guarantee we've got some moments coming up that you'll be like, oh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. <laughs> but I definitely agree with you. After watching that fight scene, you definitely see the difference in the way the stunts were being coordinated. So, mm -hmm. yep. So, I mean, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, my hopes... I'm like, it can't stay here forever. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, let's let's jump into this episode. Before we do that, thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes to our channel. Of course, your views, your subscriptions, your comments, even the sharing that you guys do helps us grow as a channel, helps us get picked up by the algorithm, and also it lets us know what type of content you're digging. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And if you are new, just stumbling across us and you are digging these reactions, make sure you do hit that like button as well as subscribe. That way you too can stay up to date with all of our new content. Yep, yep. All right, let's jump into it. Black Lightning Season 4, Episode 3. We what? We what? We what? What? <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed something. I'm ready to watch it though. Let's go. Like, is that? <laughs> there you go. It took you long enough to get to it. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe if you had a tagline, you'd be used to saying it by now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize the intro that you gave. It was okay. <laughs> Merch coming soon. Blurred Girls Rock. Let's jump into it. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, what's this? Okay. He's still Ooh, on the linen. Oh, yeah. I thought I saw <laughs> TP up there too. I'm so glad that he's back. He's sneaking out. What you doing? What you doing, Jeff? Uh, uh, okay, uh, what? I know you're not up in my house. You should have killed his ass. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Is this a dream? It's a dream. <laughs> He's just like, mm. <laughs> well, well, damn. <laughs> he gave you a few licks now. I know. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is kind of funny. The yeah. way he's looking at him. Yeah, it's the look on his face. Just sit your weak ass down. Maybe your rage will kill your whole damn family. It's a dream. It's gotta be. Has this lightning always been that color of purple? I don't think so. Listen, regardless of this being a dream or not, that's a very real scenario. <laughs> like, Very much need, so. You need to kill Dayglo. <laughs> they should have never called him that because now I'm... <laughs> I know. I was like, mm. I can't wait for these people in these comments coming for you. Go for it. Makes you feel good. Do it. No matter how hard I try to protect my family, it's always going to end in tragedy. Stop deflecting and tell me what it means. I can't be the man that I was without him. I don't know who I am. 
I mean, I think he's still dealing with pain and loss, but again, come on now, get that get that stuff in I check. Know, like this is the same as episode one and two. Oh my goodness. This is kind of awesome. Look. I know. This is the way of the new world. People placing bets through these phones, feeling like they right. at an event with no crowds to track us. That's that's dude. That's oh, the dude. Yeah. With the beard, that the pretty beard. Good. Yeah. His family got yeah. well, his son got killed and his family got taken away from him, basically. And let me yeah. know when he's fighting next. I mean, it's a, kind of a good outlet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can make some money. You care to explain yourself? No, look what Black Lightning did to me, huh? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Why he look like <laughs> off of Friday? <laughs> <laughs> My mama gave me that chain. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was, I was just protecting your interests, man. It was just business, brother. Uh -oh. You could have stayed seated. You didn't have to get that close. Funny. You know I was thinking the same thing. Oh. Oh. Uh, that punch didn't land, but... Oh. Kill them. Take out the trash. Devante. Come on, Devante. That's my new dude, man. I like Devontae. Because <laughs> they be talking that smack to him. He be like, don't look at me. I ain't do shit. <laughs> what the? What is Lynn doing? Is now that just... Jennifer's powers? <laughs> I think so. Now she's just showing off. Like, Jeff, you can't stop me. You can't tell me what to do. Have you lost your mind? I think I understand physics. I want to understand Jen's rate of recovery. Ask him. Oh, okay. She ain't talking, so shut up. The more I know now, the better prepared I can be for future attacks like Gravedigger. I won't be caught flat-footed again, Jeff. You're not like us. Ten years ago, you asked me to stop being Black Lightning. Hypocrisy looks good on you. Boy, stop if you don't... when you put the suit back on. Right. And stop with the pity party. No. So you want to be a weekend warrior? Suit yourself. I want no part of it. Did he just call her a weekend warrior? You know what? <laughs> I would have zapped it. <laughs> she, that's why I was like, y'all need to go in the backyard and fight because this <laughs> he's not gonna keep talking to you like this. Right. This so-called super uh, is this Tommy Lauren. Her name is Larson Line Report. Boo. But should that give her heart blanche to terrorize our streets? I served this community 40 years. There's no such damn thing as superhero uh. insurance. I feel like there's something else going on here because there was a little scroll at the bottom that said 13 missing. Girls. Uh huh. We'll talk about it. Lightning caused a considerable amount of property damage. That's caused way more damage than me over the years. Edited news like that, you right. can't fix. Jane, you are a little OC with your powers. I keep telling you, if you trained a little more, you can <laughs> control. But says the woman who leaves giant cracks in the street just by landing dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect sibling argument. Right. Larson's controlling my narrative. Edited news like that you can't fix. Now put my show back on. Not like they're Richard and the <laughs> <Ooh>, What? <laughs> That's my show too. <sighs> Me and Lynn would be best friends. I know, right? <laughs> Are those the next generation direct energy gun? Are you confident they're safe for mass market? You're showing your age, Peter. Wine only improves with age if the grapes were good to Ooh. begin with. Mmm, grapes. Right. <laughs> They're capable of punching a hole through a tank or safely neutralizing carjackers. I don't think I want the police walking around with them guns. Mm -hmm. Y'all expect regular people not to get hit by those? Right. Hey, I didn't expect you back to work so soon. I appreciate the time you gave me to mourn the loss of my son, but I need to work. You didn't get that from trying to get back at the 100, did you? So Mr. Pierce, who do you think I am? Like lightning? Not suspicious at all. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Keep on moving. But Jeff, you have to understand your absence is escalating this stuff. You know what I mean? Damn, babe, you're a little ashy today. What's going on? <laughs> Remember I taught you that was a thing? God, I miss you so much. It's been so long, babe. I don't I don't even know if you're still in there. Please, can you give me a sign? Let me know we have a future together. What? No. no, no That's the wrong sign, Grace. Right. Uh, she's shifting again. Didn't you just flatline? <laughs> she did, but... That was a little wonky, but okay, I'm glad she awake. Maybe that was her body's way of adapting to try to bring her out of it. 
Yeah. Like a reset to our system. Yay! Elaborate on your decision to split your time. Rebuilding our community is, is paramount right now. Commitment to duty has been drilled into me as a child. Both my parents proudly served in the military. My brother John. I know, right? That be John Stewart, Green Lantern. Right. I was different. And how did that make you feel? Like an outsider. You're a world-renowned geneticist. It's perfectly acceptable to sort of stretch your ego here. It sounds better when you do it. You see a pattern? I'm trying to fit in where I don't belong again, aren't I? My whole life, I've been trying to fit in where I clearly don't belong. Just be you. And take it easy on yourself. Yeah. But you got to think about, too. It, it, I mean, with all of her accomplishments in any regular family, I mean, that would be like the best thing ever for her, you know? Right. But then she's surrounded by this super powered family that kind of, I don't want to, I don't know if the right word is diminish. That's what I was going to say. There's a certain level of, which is a pet peeve of mine when it comes to black women feeling unseen. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's trying to compensate and be somewhere where maybe she doesn't belong. Mm hmm but she does belong. Gambia is on the back end doing this, nothing different than what she's doing. Why is the problem with her? Right. And on top of that, that's your fucking mama. Right. I don't care what she doing. Like, if you don't like it, y'all need to put some respect on her name. Because right. the first time one of y'all get hurt, who's going to be there to fix it? Right. Sorry. Rant. <laughs> you run an illegal cage fight. I'm earning. You interrupting that. That man right there. He's got a family. He's not a fighter. I don't want him hurt. That man's cost me money every night he fights. I like how Lala still has this respect for Jefferson Pierce. Yeah. Like, he just showed up and went like, get out! He was just like, what up, Jeff? <laughs> right. If you was anyone else, I would drop your black ass right now. But since we got history, fight or get out. Fight! Mr. Pierce. I got next. We gonna have a lot to talk about after this episode. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. I also have an offer for you that I am sure you'll benefit from. Negro, please. Do you think I don't see who you are? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no bribe you can offer that will make me tear down Garfield and Principal Pierce. That's what I was about to say, because again, remembering back to season one, this Negro was on a wanted poster in the police right. station. And that's exactly what I was waiting for somebody to do. Fight. Jay, you need to bust out some of that uh, jujitsu on Ooh. him. Woo! What? There we go. That's what I was talking about. You could be he, doing this to criminals. He, right. <laughs> he, but he needed this outlet. I'm glad he actually... But when Lynn asks about your face, you don't get to walk away. Look. <laughs> Ooh, these are for you. Oh, well, who are they from? I'm guessing Dad. You know he likes to make grand gestures when he realizes he's actually wrong. He's still on board. Is your father inviting me for dinner tonight? Your father's not the only one that can make grand gestures. Oh. I don't trust this. That's too quick. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like he should still be on this bullshit. When did he I, have time to do them flowers right. too? Between getting his ass beat and showing up here, it's Tobias. <laughs> you think? I hope not. <laughs> oh, oh yes, honey. But of course, your party awaits if you beat. Wait look at that! Oh my! Just they teased us at the beginning Dr. too with a look at it. That's why I was like, "Please do me the honor." Of God damn it! <laughs> Don't you dare sit down, Lynn. <laughs> Girl, don't act right. Down. Right. <laughs> or would you rather the fine people of oh. the family's extracurricular activities? Walk out. Out. Jeff, he up here, come kill him. Anissa, Anissa will do it. Call Anissa. Right. <laughs> What's going on? We're getting hitched. Here? Yes. Well, she just came out of a coma. Nothing is going to tear us apart. And I am not giving this world any more chances to do that. So, yeah. 
We all want this. Come on, girl. Will you be my wife, too? I can't imagine spending my life with anyone but you, Anissa. So you're saying yes. <laughs> that was better. Yes, I do. Right. <laughs> I was like, girl, you gonna say yes? Like... <laughs> That was better than my proposal. <laughs> I pronounce you two wet. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yay. I like this. I know, right? I'm running a little late. Reservation. Oh, <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh, no. Lynn, I told you not to eat or drink nothing. <laughs> What you gonna do, Jeff? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Wow. All right. I'm so ready to sound off. Hold on. <laughs> wow. I got a couple of things. <laughs> Let's sound this off. <laughs> good episode. I will say yeah. it was a good episode. Yes, most definitely. Um, I got three things. Go so for there's it. Two Shoot. There's something else going on in Freeland right now because earlier in episode, I think it was one we saw where um, Lynn stopped these guys from kidnapping this girl. Girl. And mm -hmm. on this episode, when that whole uh, Larson person was on the screen, you saw scrolling at the bottom that there's 13 women missing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's going to be something in this season or if they're just trying to touch on um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, trafficking. Human, human trafficking and human trafficking. the fact that black girls disappear and nobody looks for them right and that's what i was going to piggyback off i don't know if it's going to be a storyline or if it's just inserted to to just reflect what's happening in reality mm -hmm. but also it kind of goes back to that theme of being unseen mm -hmm. which we saw with lynn all throughout this episode and in a sense almost with we see it with jennifer too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know they know what she's doing or whatever but are they really pushing as hard as they could push to get her to stop? You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, yeah. maybe with Jeff, too. He's tired of being Black Lightning. They're two separate entities. He hasn't reconciled them together. So right. his lashing out and stuff that he's feeling right now is part of him as Jefferson Pierce not being seen. So, Right. Um, but I'm really feeling that more so with Lynn right now. Because like I was saying earlier... Um, it, with all of her accomplishments and accomplishments in a regular family, she would be like the bee's knee. She would be the right. favorite child. You know, she's got, you know, she's doing all these things, but she's in a super powered family. Not only does she have, you know, J Jeff, but um, Jennifer and Nissa, and they did mention John, uh, John Stewart. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to show up. <laughs> oh my God, please let John Stewart. <laughs> Come on, last season. Come but, on, man. <laughs> like, come yeah, on. but he is Green Lantern. So with all these super powered people um, in her family, I can see herself thinking that she's not as, you know, being the black sheep maybe of the family or, mm -hmm. or, or not as, as special as the other people in her family. So yeah. I love how they're actually, um, you know, dealing with that and, and having that type of discussion. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing about that. That's that's mm -mm. <laughs> that's not like no, like y'all no. are not gonna sit here and act like this woman isn't amazing, right? And every time something, it's like when you need her, she's there. She drops mm -hmm. everything she does, but she does one thing that y'all don't like, and I'm saying y'all because it pretty much is consistent throughout the family, mm -hmm. even even the two girls it's like y'all get on some 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 weird you're not like us type thing mm -hmm. which was actually said and i'm just kind of like she's not doing anything different than what gamby is doing in the background researching mm -hmm. things to help protect you guys while you are out in the field but y'all don't give him that energy yeah. which also goes back to the the double standard of black people and black women having to be 10 times better to be acknowledged in their careers. It, 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 I didn't. Yeah. I did. yeah. I'm ranting I because it doesn't feel good. I don't like that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I do think they did say that she needs to stay, you know, take a step back and go back to being, you know, in the, in the, um, 
uh, layer or whatever with Gamby, but I feel like she is so much more than that. And I feel mm -hmm. like we're going to see that during this season. She's going to, yeah. her doing all these testing on these powers. I think Lynn is going to save the day more than anybody else on this yeah. show. Now that we see that Jennifer's arm is disintegrating, mm -hmm. there's a direct callback to Lynn messing with her powers. How do, how are they going to fix her? She's going to be the key to to making sure Jennifer gets back right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Which, again, just speaks to it. Like, you look at all this stuff that she does, like, it's insignificant, but always it seems to come up and save the day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So... They better give her a really good storyline this year because they need to make up for that crackhead drug shit. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, not for nothing. Yeah, um, I agree. Yeah, that pissed me off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, What else did I want to... Oh, um, I think I have a theory because Tobias has gone through so, so many links at this point um to mess with jeff mm -hmm. i feel like every new person that is coming to anissa's life um, who may come into jen's life um that teacher maybe from jeff the the mm -hmm. therapist i kind of feel like tobias has put all these new people in the jefferson family's life right now just yeah. to mess with them absolutely you know, I was on the fence when you said the therapist, and I was like, oh, well, I could kind of sort of this episode. I was like, absolutely. How would he know what angle to take with her during that dinner? Mm -hmm. How would he know that that's the strategy he needs to use to get her to sit down and stay? Yeah. You know, and then that comes back to Jeff. While you've had your head up your ass, you've allowed Tobias to weasel his way whether it's just with Lynn or with anybody else, it should never have gotten that far. You should have had your eyes on the situation while you were in your feelings. Mm -hmm. Like, I get it, but you got to get out of it, you know? Yeah, I think it's going to come to a point where Tobias is going to be like to Jeff, I know your family better than you do. Uh, and I've basically taken them away from you. Because right. I think that that is going to be the the thing that is going to hurt Jeff the most because the way he was about his father and how he felt mm -hmm. about Henderson, you know, practically thinking he was his brother. I think Tobias has this big plan to take Jeff's family some way, somehow away from him. So he's mm -hmm. alone. And I think that's going to be revealed sometime during this season. And he's damn it's near said it up, mm -hmm. up to this point. Basically, you killed my sister. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you know. Right. I think it's going to take, I think that's when Jeff is going to really hit that low point and then make him realize that, all right, this, I've got, I've got to get back on my game. I've, I'm not yeah. going to let anybody take my family away. So I think that'll be the turning point in this season, but I really feel like every single person, every single new person we have seen so far in this season is probably got, is pretty much probably got ties to Tobias. Yeah. It's a suspect at this point. Yeah. Definitely feel the therapist at this point. Um, one thing I noticed about Tobias, which I never noticed before, he's got that eye spasm thing that goes yeah. oh, back and forth. I have never noticed that with him before, mm -hmm. which makes him look even more crazy for the character, which I, <laughs> yeah. I absolutely love it. And we say it every episode, like not for nothing, like his acting Mm -hmm. I really need to see him on more stuff. Like, I really do. Because I'm enjoying him so much. Everybody knows I love a good villain. <laughs> uh, unless he gets killed this season. He can pop I up expect in pain to killer. see him in Painkiller. Yeah. Because they got beef beef, you know. He ripped <laughs> his spine out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, just, I'm just very impressed. And I, I, I really like what he's done with this character and again i keep saying this also claps 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 to the black writers because when he <laughs> was in the office with the mayor and the mayor was like negro i know all. i was like thank you <laughs> he said everything that was in our heads <laughs> like <laughs> right. because again i don't I, i've been going back to watch a little bit of the first season of black lightning and i remember the very first episode tobias's picture was up in the police station on a wanted poster right. and now all of a sudden he's supposed to be this you know big guy who wants to help rebuild the community and everybody right. believes everything he says no and i'm glad the mayor <laughs> called him out on his bull 
because he was like, Negro, please. Right. We smile yeah. in public, play nice, yeah. blah, 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 but please don't think that I don't know what you're doing or what you right. know, which also scares me for the mayor now also right. because <laughs> I was like, oh, snap. But that guy, that henchman, I wonder if he's playing, like, I need to look. I mm -hmm. need to look because I, or it, maybe it's just the actor. I, every time I look at him, I see Victor Zass from Gotham. Mm, okay. So I'm wondering who this guy is supposed to be in this series. It's a DC universe. He might carry it over and do some work for Tobias. Let's not sleep on Tobias either. He's been featured in a lot of the DC animated tales. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the last thing that I have is. Something that we've seen already with the first couple of episodes. I don't know if y'all change stunt coordinators or y'all change editors or what, but I need y'all to get y'all stunt choreography and as well the scenes where you can plainly see that is a stunt person together. I need y'all to get it together because that cage fight scene where Jefferson was in the cage fight, they, it was a long shot. Mm -hmm. And y'all tried to fuzz it up a little bit, but I can, <laughs> I could clearly tell it wasn't Jeff. Also, there were some punches thrown in this episode. You can clearly see that they're not landing. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened this season. Maybe it's because of uh, coronavirus messed everything up. Hey, I, I can believe That's that true. and coronavirus messed everything up. But I want to know who's looking at this and saying, it's yeah, okay. um, that okay. punch looked like it landed or no, I didn't see the stunt person in this scene. You know what? For me, it's not even the punch not landing. So the mm -hmm. mechanics behind this is this is the mechanics behind it. When you're shooting for film, nobody fights like that in real life. Mm -hmm. Nobody to unless you suck, but nobody takes big swings like that in real life. You have to over exaggerate for filming. The problem I'm having with these fight scenes is they're either not filming from an appropriate angle mm -hmm. to hide this or maybe that's just it they're not even it's like they're not even trying to make it seamless at this point mm -hmm. i'm still taking out like every time we see a fight scene i still revert to episode one where i'm just like nah like yeah. stop it you know so yeah. <laughs> I, in that instance it's just kind of like i'm i'm with you i want to know what happened to where this is now the standard yeah yeah that we're gonna but, get because again looking back at season one it was not like this yeah. it was not like this at all yeah so. so but i will give props though to crest williams like when he was in the ring i was like take him to the ground he too big they, and then they got the jujitsu going i like that they've added that to his skill set though mm -hmm. it makes now it's more believable for him to go up against someone of that size mm -hmm. without using his powers right so i can appreciate to, that to be honest yeah because that's something <laughs> i was thinking about because i love boxing i i just mm -hmm. watched a fight this past weekend with andrea broner uh in it and i was like this is not how weight classes work like this not <laughs> <laughs> like that guy was huge right <laughs> he was just like punching jefferson and jefferson was just like uh right and i like, was like no, no. that's not <laughs> like anyone who's ever been headbutted before it's not that quick of a recovery especially right. if they hit you like right here <laughs> like, like it don't get, work like that by somebody who's like almost 100 pounds heavier than you are and you just yeah. like oh, oh. No, that's not that's not how it works but nah. he might i don't know he might have a good chin i don't know whatever we'll see um final thing these weapons man something something else is up here too yeah the something else is up here too between the new police chief uh gammy's girlfriend mm -hmm. like something's up here and they point uh -huh. oh go ahead i was gonna say and i'm glad gammy's on it um gammy yeah. knew that there was something up and he yeah. seems like the only person right now trying to um, make sure Freeland's okay. Right. I mean, Outside yes, of Anissa, but, but Anissa's done her part these past yeah. two episodes. So <laughs> Yeah, true, true. 
Um, Jeff says he's trying to do the same thing, but not as Black Lightning. So we help him one person at a time now. So I guess that's okay. Uh, no, hold on, because I have to go back here. This is what annoyed me about that. Jeff, fine, you're not Black Lightning. What about Anissa and Jennifer? Did you not see that gun put a hole through your right. suit? And that was on the lowest setting. And mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, <laughs> figure it out. Ooh, I bleed. I got to go. To what the fuck wrong with you? Sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. But like, what's wrong with you? Like. <laughs> <The Mars. laughs> it irritated. It's ir that's irritating me. This yeah. like blah, 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 blah. Head in the clouds. Okay. Acknowledge reality. The reality. This is a show. But reality that you're living in right now. And like. If not for you, for the sake of your family, snap out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I don't think he is going to snap out of it until he hits that rock bottom of this season and he realizes, again, I think it's going to be Tobias taking his family away from him and making him seem like, oh, he's alone. But it's not going to be until that point, until he's going to turn everything around. I know it. Oh, Lord, it's exhaustive. But, it's, I mean, it's making for good episodes. Again, you guys, let me put this here because somebody going to be in the comments. Talking, well, what if your family? It's a TV show and I'm being... <laughs> facetious <laughs> all right <laughs> we know this isn't real we know this isn't real life we're providing analysis based on the show the script what we like and what we don't like and this is what it is so mm -hmm. putting that there in case you think this is all serious talk this is not real life this is play <laughs> sorry i had to put that in there <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna watch the whole video you still don't get those comments <laughs> but no but is there anything else we want to talk about in this episode um i think it was a better episode than one and two yeah. the story's getting a little bit better which i'm enjoying yeah uh, anything it's else? getting there it's getting yeah. there i can agree from the first episode up to then we've seen a progression which allows me to enjoy the series a little bit more so yeah i agree cool what did you guys think are you watching black lightning season four did you check out one two how does it compare to three drop down in those comments and let us know p.s what the hell would you do if you woke up and tobias well was in your house <laughs> we'd like to know until next time we are your host i'm killer cam and i'm monique we'll see you on the next episode of blurred up reacts thanks guys